Hello everyone, this is Amit Aura from EcoVisioner. Continuing with my most expected topic series, today I have theory of income and employment for you. This is unit 3 of macroeconomics. So let us start with the must do topics of this unit. So first, very important topic is equilibrium level of income, C plus I that is ADAS approach and saving and investment approach. You can either get a theory question on this or a numerical question asking equilibrium level of income, consumption at equilibrium level, autonomous consumption, MPC or they can ask you investment to be calculated. So there is a single equation AD is equal to C plus I and uh, AS is equal to Y. A single equation to be used Y is equal to C plus I to solve this question. So coming uh, to the theory part, they will be asking you adjustment mechanism and the impact on output income and employment. Must do topic number two derivation of saving curve using consumption curve you have to make consumption income curve and from that you have to derive the saving curve this is a diagram question coming to question number three again a very important question working of an investment multiplier they can ask you directly how this process works just like credit creation in money and banking there you have to make a table and uh, explain that or they can give you a numerical based on 1 upon MPS, 1 upon 1 minus MPC or delta Y by delta I. Fourth and the most expected question or topic, excess demand which is shown as inflationary gap or deficit demand where it is shown as deflationary gap has to be there in the paper because it has been repeated many times in boards. So excess demand or deficit demand with the help of a diagram and they can give you the diagram also and ask you to identify. So inflationary gap or deflationary gap to be identified. And fifth topic related to the fourth, how to control the situation of deficit or excess demand. So how to control using monetary measures by RBI or how to uh, control this using fiscal measure that is budgetary measures. So again monetary measures, repo rate, reverse repo rate, uh, your uh, margin requirements, your open market operations, your quantitative and qualitative measures. Fiscal will be explaining uh, taxes, government's taxation policy and government's expenditure policy to control the situations of excess or deficit demand. These are sure shot, these two Last questions are short, short question for your exam, either in your school exam or in your boards. Next topic will be having government budget. All the best for your exams. Take care.